Okay, so we are live now. Let's see the light, how this is going. A beautiful day. Okay, let's see if somebody gets connected. Okay, let me see if we can turn the camera around. Yes, it works. Let me see if we can zoom in correctly. Yes, we do. Yes, zoom out. Okay. Okay. So hopefully it works. Well, how the sheep? Hopefully they don't come for us. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Okay, I think we are, it's about five? Do we have, uh, 4.30? 4.30, I think. It is 4.29, okay. Hi, Leslie, good morning from Louisiana. Hi, Jorge. Beautiful day, it is indeed a gorgeous day. So it is now 4.30 and we are broadcasting live from Otazu Winery in the north of Spain. Today I'm with Iker. Hi. Hi, Iker. He is going to be our key master and uh, he's the person who knows absolutely everything that is to know. Not really. <laughs> nah, you do know everything. Okay. Uh, so, where are we? We are right now in the north of Spain. This is Navarra and the winery Otazu. It is probably the northernmost uh, winery in Spain that produces uh, red wine. So, yeah, it is. Yes, yes. There are some wineries in the north, but most of them. Okay, so it's amazing. Right behind us, we have the Sarville mountain range. Uh, that is like the limit of the winery. Uh, between here and that mountain, we have the river Arga, that gives a lot of water uh, to this uh, part yes, of Navarre. Okay. Yes. But the most important thing is what we have right in front of us. Let, uh, let me turn the camera around and take a look at this. Okay. So, what is this? This is the Palace of Otaz. Uh, we have to understand that, let me walk around a little bit. Uh, the Palace of Otazu, or the winery of Otazu, dates back to the 800s after Christ, okay? Uh, the Roman history here, that winery, wine, sorry, was produced in this area on the 800s. The thing is that uh, by the 1100s, uh, here in Navarre, we have the Camino de Santiago, St. James Path, okay? So it's probably the, one of the most important moments in medieval history, because all the world comes to do this Christian pilgrimage. And here, Otazu, it used to pass the Camino de Santiago. The thing is that for political, religious reasons, let's say that way, uh, the Camino was moved a little bit more to the west, okay? So, but this was still a stronghold for Christianity, for wine production, and the lords of Otazu created this incredible palace. It's divided, let's say, in three parts. Right here, this part, it is the oldest part, it's from the 1100s. This part is from the 1400s. And this other part is from the 1600s, okay? So really, it's a winery in production. The thing is that all around Europe, uh, by the 1700s, a terrible disease came, which was called the phylloxera. First, it attacked into France, and then it came into Spain. A phylloxera is a bug or a disease. Yes, yes, a disease. A, a bug. disease that kills uh, the vineyards. So we had absolutely no vineyards. It took the winery of Otazu 200 years to recover, and now we have an extremely beautiful and modern winery. A modern winery where we have some incredible art, like this beautiful, huge sculpture by Manolo Valdez, called uh, the Lady of Otazu. Uh, Manolo Valdez, here in the winery, they have many of his artwork, some of his artwork, but you can find him everywhere around uh, Spain, okay? Well, uh, yes, yes. it's Pretty very important in sculpture. This is a huge, oops, Spain. sorry, it's gone. Uh, so this is a beautiful portrait of the Lady of Otazu. But if we go back a little bit more to history, oh, 
Okay. Uh, we always had the Lords of Otazu living there, right where we are. And in front of us, now we have where the workers of the winery used to work, or were used to live, sorry. But they didn't used to live, they still live in here. How many families do we have living here? Uh, there are eight families living and working here in the, in the bodega. There's one family that are three generations working and living here, and they have a small child, and we hope he will work here also wow. and make the fourth generation. So, I mean, I think it's pretty cool that, you know, three generations working for the same winery, uh, the kid is still living here. When we are arrived over here, there were uh, all the kids running around. So we still have a family, eight families, living directly into the winery and working, living, doing the whole thing in the winery, which I think is super, super amazing. But uh, if we go back in time, let's go back in time. Uh, this was a moment in history also where the French, we've always here, you have to think that France is super close to here and we have always been fighting against them or they against us. So we have always had to defend. And this house or this tower that we have here, it was a guardian house, okay? So you see those little lines, those were to put the arches and uh, to throw arrows all the way at the top. It was the pigeons place yes. and the pigeons were used for two things. One for lunch. Look at the puppy. Yay! <laughs> well, there's a, a little herd, sheep herd just came in. Uh, <laughs> so that was the puppy saying hello. Sorry. So the pigeons, they used to eat them, but as well, they were the internet of yes, that time. Yes, we are not using pigeons anymore. We are using <laughs> WhatsApp that is very clean. <laughs> yeah, so they used to give all the information thanks to the pigeons, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And here we have another beautiful modern sculpture. Okay. By Xavier Mascaro. Xavier Mascaro. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sculpture. Let me take you to the ship. I mean, probably you can hear them. Okay. So, one of the things about Otazu is that they have 319 acres, but only 100 of them, 110 of them, uh, they're used uh, with vineyards. Things that they, the family uh, wants to preserve the environment because they understand that the air of Otazu, the humidity, the greatness of all of this, you know, the sheep coming in and eating the grass and the, all this, it's gonna give flavors to the, to the grapes. It's gonna give heart, it's gonna give soul to the vineyard, okay? So what we see, uh, okay, I think we're back. One, yes, we're back. So one of the things uh, that we're gonna have to deal today is with the Wi-Fi. We're, as you can see, in a rural environment and the Wi-Fi connection is super weak. So please keep with me and let's hope for the best, okay? It's gonna be the challenge of the day. It's going to have this, this is the connection. This is the connection. This is terrible, but hey, it is what it is. So, they want to preserve the traditions. They want to preserve, you know, the shepherds, the all of the character of the environment. But they mix it with this amazing, amazing modern art. Okay, so we're gonna be seeing, you know, uh, the Lady of Otazu. We're gonna see the musician that we have just seen. These beautiful cubes by Alfredo Jar, an, uh, an artist from Chile. Okay, a Chilean artist. So it's uh, what it represents, these four cubes are the four... The colors of wine. Those colors of the, wine. So the different the... colors of wine. The, the biggest is for the red wine, the, the, the medium one is for the rosé, uh, for the white, and this is for the rosé, and the last one is for the sparkling wine we are doing now. Yes, they're doing, they're beginning to do some very interesting sparkling wine. I've tried it once. Yes, yes that was nice. But anyway, so I told you that uh, this is a, it was a bastion for Christianity. And one of, to me, one of the most beautiful things that they have here, it's this beautiful Romanesque chapel. Okay, this is from the 1100s. It still belongs to the property. It's consecrated so you can get married in here. Uh, one of the great 
things about <laughs> Otazu is that it's open. It's, uh, in fact, it has recently been awarded as the best open to the public winery in Spain, okay? And you can do many events. I mean, if you want to get married, you can come to the church and get married in here. You can organize a wedding in here. So it's a beautiful, 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 it's not just the winery, it's the whole thing. That is super cool, okay? Mm, unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to go into the church because we just came in <laughs> to check if there was Wi-Fi inside of the, of the church and there's absolutely no Wi-Fi. But I just want to share with you the key. <laughs> Look at the size of the key. Yeah. The original one. It's the original <laughs> key for the 1100s. Isn't that, an, um, you know, a tiny little keyhole? But as I told you, unfortunately, we cannot uh, come inside. And of course, we are in the Temple of Love and look at that beautiful sculpture of the two hearts. It is beautiful. Sabemos de quién es? It's from Jim Dine, an American artist. Jim Dine, an American artist. He's talking about the love re being rebuilt uh, from the ashes. Okay. If you come, come here and take a look at the basement. Okay. There's some French tools from iron working. And... Okay. So, it's, we're talking about, you know, the love being rebuilt and rebuilt and always, you know, a relationship has to change continuously, which is pretty cool. So let me take an extra look at this beautiful church. I mean, it is gorgeous. Okay, so let's go. Uh, another of the things that stresses me a little bit comes right now because <laughs> I have never done this, try to broadcast from a car because uh, the winery itself, where the wine is made, uh, it is a little bit like 10 minutes walking. That would be like boring for you guys. So we're gonna take the car. This is my car. By the way, it's a hybrid car that I'm very proud of having. We just bought it. Uh, we all need to please. Hi, Linda from France. I get oh. so I was telling you about the hybrid cars. We need to take care of Mother Nature. We only have one country, oh, one world, and we need to take care of that. Uh, what about Otazu? Are, <laughs> are we doing things with ecology besides all of the environment? We we, we don't have the the label of organic wines yet. We are working on that, but it's, it's not an easy thing to to get. But we are working on that. He was explaining to me before that the problem of getting the organic wine in Spain is not that they are organic. The thing is that, okay, they're turning into organic and the problem is that if their neighbor is not working organic, oh, 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 what happened here? Oh, sorry for that. So yeah, I was telling you that if the wine, the, if the, well, your neighbor doesn't go organic, you are not organic, okay? So although they do have the title of organic, uh, their neighbors don't. So they are not considered as organic. Whoa, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, there we go now. So that's one of the strange things that uh, well, but I think it's very probably, important. Probably we, we will get the, the label. Uh, hopefully you will. Okay, so here we have the sheep. But they're, oh, oh, they're coming, so we better move the car. <laughs> but before we go, let me share with you this another, yet another beautiful sculpture. The Pass of Time. It's indeed beautiful. This is from? Uh, Hans-Peter Feldman. Hans-Peter Feldman. Hmm. It's an artist from Germany, and uh, this sculpture talks about the time in the process of making wine. Okay. And depending on how, how much time do you have a wine in the barrel, inside the barrel, uh, it gets different properties, and, and he's talking about that, about the, the importance of, of time in, okay. in the elaboration of wines. Okay, we better run, or we're going to do the running of the sheep. <laughs> and <laughs> they're dangerous. They're not dangerous? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get in the car. We're gonna say goodbye to this beautiful chapel. Okay. Oh, 
okay we need to buckle up or this car will start screaming buckle up buckle up okay there we go so let's see if this works okay <laughs> hi Nadine you think I might be drunk I don't know what's going on with the Wi-Fi with the whole thing it's like crazy look at the ship and they cool also I guess the gods of tourism and the gods of wine are helping us today because look at what an amazing amazing day okay about okay here we start having the grapes the vineyards we have four major varieties of grapes uh, being produced here in Otazu. We have Cabernet Sauvignon, Tempranillo, which is a Spanish uh, grape. We have Merlot, Chardonnay for the white. Okay, so we have those four uh, big important grapes in here, okay? Okay, so there's a car coming. Let's wait. Oh. Hello. Okay. Okay, okay. So, hi, lady. So, I guess we are doing good. Okay, I don't know what's going on with the, how do you say it, the gimbal, the thing that stabilizes the movement, but it's moving continuously. Uh, okay, so hopefully now it is working because I'm gonna walk with it. So sorry for the movement, it's not gonna be as smooth as we expected. Okay, so we are already here. Let me. Okay. Okay. So, oh boy, what a stressing moment was that. So we are in the winery, and here at the winery we are welcomed by the, these two. How do you say it? Guardians by the same artist. It's Xavier uh, Mascara, it's the same artist that we yes. have seen one sculpture in the, yes. in the palace. So these are by Xavier Mascaro, a Spanish uh, artist. They are the guardians of the temple, the guardians of the wine. Okay. I love this uh, sculpture, but there's one that I really love, which is right that pink, bright pink. The sculpture that we see in front of us. Okay, so let me zoom in. So you see all the colors, all the different volumes, the whole thing. Well, there is a trick to it because if we get closer, you're gonna see that there's only one shade of pink and it happens to be that it is flat. It doesn't have volume. It looks like it has volume, but it does not. Okay. And this, this piece of art is by... Uh, Rafael Barrios, a Venezuelan artist. Venezuelan artist. So all of these names, if you guys want me to write them down later, I can, I can write it. Sorry, the Wi-Fi is driving me nuts. <laughs> okay, so you have to trust in me that it's completely flat because if I get closer, I lose sight. But it's beautiful. So let's go inside of the winery. Yes? yes. Okay. So this building is from the 18th century? Yes, it's from 1840. 1840, so 19th century, sorry. Uh, 
here is where the wine was produced and is still being produced. Okay. Uh, oy. Sunlight, beautiful day. Leslie says, uh, these vines must be very happy because what a gorgeous place to grow. <laughs> Leslie, you are right. What an amazing place to grow. I mean, I think I want to grow here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So we are here. He has to open. Tanda <laughs> Okay. So, okay. So, this is culture that we have here that welcomes all the guests. It's Ariadne. Ariadne, in the Greek mythology, it is the daughter of the god uh, Minos. Okay, the one that has the Minotaur in the labyrinth. He creates the labyrinth so nobody can kill the Minotaur. The thing is that uh, Ariadne. In the Greek mythology, she fell in love with Theseus, and uh, she helped Theseus kill the the Minotaur. What she did is she gave a jar of wool, so Theseus can go into the labyrinth, kill the Minotaur, and walk back out. Okay? When the father of Ariadne found out that she helped uh, the killing of the animal or the creature, he was very pissed off, and he told them, get out of Crete, I don't want you here. The thing is that uh, the couple had to leave uh, Crete in Greece, and unfortunately, Theseus fell out of love very quickly and dumped uh, Ariadne. The thing is that Ariadne was all sad, all crying, and then she fell in love with Dionysius. Dionysius, uh, who is the Bacchus, uh, the god of the, uh, of the wine yes. for the Romans. Yes, yes. All right, so Dionysius is the Greek god of wine. They fell in love and they had a baby. That baby is called Enopion. Enopion, that Eno is the word that when we talk about enotourism, uh, enology, everything related with wine starts with Eno. Okay, so we can say that Ariadne is the mother of wine. Yes. Yes. So it's a beautiful, beautiful sculpture, again, by Manolo Valdez, the one that made the Lady of Otazu. And here, her hair reminds us of that yarn of uh, wool that gave to her lover. Isn't it beautiful? It's a very beautiful story. So this is uh, the place where the wine uh, used to be done. Now it's the center house. Uh, here we have the headquarters, the offices, and everything. That's it. You have some amazing modern art that we're going to see. Yeah. Okay. So, shall we go upstairs? Let's go. Okay, so let's go upstairs. And we find art absolutely everywhere. You see that, it's a piece of beautiful art. I'm gonna show you one that personally I love, okay? Before that, let me show you the view from here. Look at that, okay? That's the sculpture that we were seeing outside. This beautiful window with the mountains, all the vineyards in the back. I mean, really, to me, it's breathtaking how beautiful that is. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. But anyway, <laughs> here we have many sculptures. One of them, it's this one. All of these are uh, hammers and things that you need for construction. And the artist, if you see on the floor, you have all of these tiny little coins. The artist, what he did is uh, put all the coins like that. I think is that when people walk and, you know, the movement, they fall. So that's what he wants. He wants the sculpture to be always up and down and up and down. It's always different. It's one of those modern concepts, yeah. okay, which is pretty, pretty cool. But my favorite in this room, it's this art installation. You see all the pendulums hanging. It's like super ethereal. But there is one, the one that is, 
all the way at the bottom. Look what's in there. There is a tiny little man blowing the horn, the Swiss horn. So it's beautiful, beautiful. Look at how small it is. I mean, it's like you can barely see him, but it's right there. So as you see, funky modern art that I love. Okay. Uh, but why don't we go down to the cellar, which is okay. the place where all the wine is. It's beautiful. Uh, what else? Well, here you have your office where you work yes. every day. What a beautiful place to work, by the way. We are lucky working here. Yes, you're very lucky to work here. So uh, here, what they have, it's all of these um, artifacts. Yes, artifacts, tools. Or... Tools from the past, uh, a little bit of history, okay, of how wine was done, and you know, the pig skins to preserve it, the barrels, everything. And they also have some more traditional art. These ones are by a painter from Pamplona. His name is Miguel Echauri. Miguel Echauri is a hyper-realistic uh, painter. They have several of them, but I like these two because they have grapes into them, and that's super, super cool. Uh, Miguel Echauri, all his palette of color is always browns, and he loves the terracotta colors. The light is very, very strong, okay, but the technique is super hyper-realistic. It's like incredible. But let's go, because the cellar has to be downstairs. Fingers crossed that we're going to have Wi-Fi down there. Yeah, <laughs> <Okay. not> so. <laughs> we, the thing is that there was a, a, there was a huge storm tonight, and the Wi-Fi in rural spaces are not 100%. So, another piece of art that I love, you are perfect as you are. And as you see, hi everybody, there's a reflection. You see yourself in the piece of art, and the piece of art is telling you, you are perfect as you are, because we are all perfect, perfect. aren't we? So I think it's super, super cool to be perfect. I is by this gentleman from Denmark, Jeep Heint, sorry, I cannot say that name. <laughs> and, okay. So, so, so. So here, what do, what we have, it's the old barrels where they used to be kept, the wine. And here we have a little bit, another part of the uh, modern art gallery. We're gonna see some of the art in here. I've chosen the ones that I personally like, okay? This one, it's super cool, super weird, because if you see very, very close to it, the sculpture itself, is just a stone hanging in front of a mirror. But the reflection of the mirror, no matter where you see it, is totally different. Okay, so it's super nice modern art that I love. Okay. There is well, a lot of conceptual art. Those ding that you hear come from this other piece of art with these four things running around and suddenly they hit the gong. <laughs> but there's one that I fell in love in the first moment I saw it, which is this one. They are just, just. There are thousands of little threads, okay? And there's a light with the shape of a heart. But it gets much better because it's an interactive piece of art, okay? I put my finger inside of this little hole. It gets red and when it gets green again, you know, it has read my, the, my heart beats and it's changing the light uh, in a way that is according with my heart rate. So you see how cool. It changes with everybody. Depends on how your rhythm in the heart is, it will change the color, it will change the intensity of the heart. It's so, so, so beautiful. Uh, who's the artist of this one? Uh, Pablo Ernesto. Pablo Ernesto. He's an artist that we have worked with uh, Pablo Ernesto and 
he also created one of our wines. We have a, a series of wines that are created by artists, and he's one of the artists that made a wine. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> Another one that I love is by the Indian artist Anish Kapoor. Uh, if you are from Chicago, if you've been to Chicago, maybe you have heard about the bean, okay, in Chicago. So this is also Anish Kapoor, okay. It looks like a sphere, but it's not. It's the other way, okay. It's, let's see if you can see the perspective of it, okay. Uh, in Anish Kapoor work, there's a lot of looking for the reflection, trying to see, like, uh, what you see is not what it is. It's, he wants you to center in the reflected light, in the reflected city, okay? Like, for example, uh, at the Bean in Chicago, he doesn't care as much for the volume. He cares about the reflection inside of his volume, okay? It's very beautiful conceptual art that I really love. There's another two that I think they're very cool. One is by my favorite Chinese artist, Ai Weiwei, which is this one, the bicycles. Okay? This comes from a part of a huge exhibition. There was thousands of bicycles, and this is just part of it. Okay? It's a great, great, great exhibition. And there's this other one that I think it is incredible, because if you take the crystal in front of it, which is this part here, okay? And we could only see the reflection of it. It's like uh, aquarella. How do you say aquarella? Uh, you know, like watercolors. 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 Okay. So let me take only the image of the watercolors. I mean, isn't it super ethereal? Super. Wow. It's incredible. I love this. Okay. Let's go see the seller. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. They are waiting for that. A problem? Okay, I think we're back. Okay, I think we are back. Okay. We are back. And we are at the cellar. Okay, look at this beautiful cellar. Okay, this reminds us like a gothic, no, Romanesque. A crypt, but a super modern Romanesque crypt. Uh, one of the things I really love, let me see if we could get it, okay? Because the artist who, the architects who made this, what they wanted is for us to feel the way the wine feels inside of the barrel. One of the things you cannot perceive, but I would love you to <laughs> perceive, is the smell that we have here. Uh, the harvest has recently been finished, okay? And we are beginning to s smell all of this beautiful, well, another beautiful sculpture. Uh, we have all of these amazing aromas of the, you know, the fresh wine in the barrels and everything. So the barrels, they have French and American oak. Just and French oak. Oh, you only have French oak? Yes, different woods, but all French oak. Only French. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, what the artist wanted, as I told you, is to have the same feeling as if you were inside of a barrel. So, when they did these uh, arches, which are concrete, they printed all of this. So, what we see is the inside of the barrel. Okay? It's the wooden marks. So the whole crypt that we have in here, all of them have those marks in there, which is, I think, incredible. So, because let me get one more thing. Because, you know, the aromas, thank you, Jorge, uh, are incredible. The light is very dim. We have here, uh, one of the maids, uh, inspired by the Velázquez painting, The Maid, by Manolo Valdez. Uh, and the perception in this room changes in no time. Because the, working with uh, an artist from Venezuela, 
Carlos Cruz Diet. Carlos Cruz Diet. He is a master of the light, okay? And he made a light installation in here that I will want to share with you. Go ahead. So I'm going to be very quiet. Just move in so you see the light for a moment. So, to me, this quietness, this light, this humidity, this, the temperature, it's not hot, it's not cold. It's super relaxing. That's what the grapes are getting. That's what the wine is getting inside of the barrels. All the philosophy of this winery, it's you know, now the word slow cooking, slow living, slow everything is one of those things. Here in Otazu, they're masters in that. They're masters in silence, in quietness, in beauty, okay? All of that is going to go into the grapes. That love for beauty, that love of trying to capture all the aromas, all the earth, all the wind, all the quietness of this temple goes into the wine, goes into the barrel. So when you drink wine from Otazu, you're not just drinking wine. You're drinking this calmness, this peaceful. You're drinking the sheep that we saw outside, the leaves on the ground, the wind blowing. It's, wine is not just the drink. It has much more into it. And I personally think that Otazu has really captured, learned how to capsule all of this in a bottle of wine, which is incredible. Okay? So I think the best thing we can do is give, it a, give it a try. Sorry, guys, you're not going to be able to try it. <laughs> we are. <laughs> so why don't we go outside? Let's go okay. and try some. Okay. So we're going to say goodbye to the wine, to the cellar, and let's come out. Okay. So one of the another things that I like is if that that we just left behind, it is the how do you say it? the temple. This we can say it's the altar. Okay, this is the old press. Yes. When does it date? Press? That's why I don't know. It's quite old. I think it's from the 1500s, if I'm not Probably. wrong. Okay, but uh, it is, you know, that respect that they have for the tradition. We have it in here surrounded by extremely beautiful modern art. So we have the combination of the tradition, the art, the terroir, the, uh, the landscape, the whole thing. So it's, well, as you can see, I pretty much like this winery. <laughs> it's, I think this is why this has been awarded as the best winery uh, open to the public in Spain, okay? And the collection of art is always changing, okay? So they have a huge art collection and they're one of the most important collectors uh, of modern art. And they're going to have, well, continuously changing. So it's yes. worth a visit we have every two months. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> we have more art pieces than the space to show it, so <laughs> we have to change it every year. That's, I mean, it's, that's so incredible. Okay. So why don't we go outside? Yes, I mean, let's go outside. The sun is setting, it's beautiful. I mean, it's a beautiful day today. We've been so lucky. Okay. Okay, okay. Let, well, again, COVID moments. By the way, I took out my mask because it's impossible to be talking with a mask. I can already listen the gla our glasses. Ding ding! <laughs> the sound of oh. Abra. 
espera, o si no... Con los guardianes de fondo. No, me quito el wifi y... Ok. No wifi fuera. Ok. So, take a look at the sun setting in the beautiful... Oops, sorry. Property of Otazu. All the beautiful grapes have already been harvested. Have you harvested the 100%? Uh, yes, yes, we have ended the, the harvest. Last so, week. Last week you ended? Wow. So what about these grapes? Do you know what they are? I think they are, those are for Tem Tempranillo. Tempranillo, yes, yes. they're Tempranillo, which is the variety in Spain, typical Spanish variety. Okay, let's see, some leftovers. Yeah. So, uh, this Tempranillo, oops, let me try them. They're sweet and they're gonna give a very special character to the wine. I mean, I think it's, you know, super good. Okay, my friend. I'm going to serve some Chardonnay Ooh. white wine. Chardonnay. It's a very bright, thin one. Very fresh and scented. Okay. One for me and one for you. Okay. Sorry, guys, you cannot taste it. Okay, let me see here. Bodegas, Otazu, right behind me. Or right behind him, you have Otazu Winery. So, let's do a little wine tasting here. Virtual wine tasting, which I think is kind of difficult. So, this white wine, you do the honors. Oh, it's a Chardonnay from uh, 2019, just last year. So, it's a young one, a very clean and bright one. It's a very scented. You can't, you can't smell it, but we trust can. me. <laughs> okay. So okay. let us. I mean, I can smell. You know, it's very fresh. Yeah. It's a okay. Let's turn this around. So, uh, it's a very, very fresh wine. It's a. I mean, I can smell a little bit of apples into it. Green apples, white fruits. Yes, all of those type of white pineapple. Yes, you find the pineapple. Yes. Hey. Not everyone can. I love white wine, by the way. <laughs> I'm a white winer. I love red wine, but I don't know if I'm alert, maybe allergic to red wine, but two glasses of red wine and I'm gone. I'm drunk. Yeah. I don't know why. White wine, I can drink a little bit more than just... Okay, so we have Apple, red apple, yes. green apple, green apple, pineapple, pineapple, fish weeks, of course, typical mm -hmm. friendly chardonnay. Mm. Okay, let's give it a try. Right, okay, we are salute. waiting for salute, everybody. Salute to everybody. Mm, they need to try it. You need to try it. <laughs> the balance in the acidity is super good. I mean, it doesn't. It's not an explosive wine. You want some, Jorge? <laughs> yes, Elizabeth, a lot of technical difficulties inside of a winery. You have to come to Otazu and try. Yes. Let me introduce you. You know Ariadne. Okay, it's yes. Ariadne. Well, Ariadne, remember? Mm. <laughs> the logo? Uh, so, anyway, so about in the mouth. Uh, there's not a lot of acidity, it's a little bit. It starts with acidity, but it goes, goes down immediately and keeps a very fruity flavor. And... Mm. Okay, Leslie, please give a link if they ship to the United States. Yes, they do. I mean, they don't, but they have importers. Yeah. So, in the text, I'm gonna leave here. Uh, you're gonna have his email, okay? Because he is the one that is going to be able to let you know who is the importer who can serve you. I will give you all the information about where to buy some so just, wine in yes. the United States. Or... Send him a direct message, uh, an email, and he will give you all the things. Hi, Julie Sambo, I love you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, really, as, let's finish this, wrap this up. Otazu Winery, yes, the wine, it's incredibly good. Uh, I love the white wine. He knows I love the white wines. Uh, but the red ones are super good. They've been awarded. It's, uh, they have many different varieties. Uh, so the wine is amazing. The winery, I hope you have loved it. It's really, really, really an amazing winery. Who's coming? No, it's a car coming. Uh, it's a great winery if you want to visit. They're open 
always you have to talk with him, with Iker. Uh, it's a great winery if you want to do any events. If you want to, if you're a wedding planner and you are thinking about an amazing place to do, you have a church from the 11th century. You have an amazing winery with incredible wine. They have some of the best caters around in here. You know that here in Navarre we have super good food. So anything you may need, Iker is a person to get in touch with. Iker, first I would like to thank Winery Otathu for opening the doors for us today. Second, I would like to thank you especially because he should have been home three hours ago and he's been waiting for us. So <laughs> no, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very, very much. Uh, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned a little bit about our wine tradition and you have enjoyed it. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, we have placed a tip yard, so any tip will be welcome and super appreciated. And we'll see you in the next video. So everybody, have an amazing, amazing day. Salud, cheers to everybody cheers. from Otathu Winery. Salud to everybody, my friends. Salud. Salud. Bye. Mm, mm, mm. So good.